Now, as you can see, there are multiple spinning heads here due to the mass confusion of nobody knowing what the hell is going on. And the panic all started when a money front, a large money front that moved in from the Redmond, Washington area. Now, I suggest that these players seek shelter immediately. And I just received word that Optic has found their fourth. The search has been called off. The only question that remains, can Optic's new fourth complete the Taco Bell food challenge? The Optic Halo situation, it's, it's not in my power to say what they can or should do. If they want to win, then they should put in the time to win. You gotta put in the time, you gotta put in the effort to actually get better, not just be complacent with getting fifth and sixth. Like, I know those guys pretty well, and I know that they could get, you know, top three, top two, or even win, but I think that the effort they put in, and they kind of just roll over and die whenever they just feel like, oh yeah, we're just getting shit on. Like, okay, why are you okay with that? Just like, try to get better, you know? Why are you okay with EG just like running everything? I don't know. That's why like, I was, I wanted to come back to Halo and just like, like, go against them or something because it's like I know so many friends over there that are just like yeah they're just gonna win again I'm like come on man like if I had advice to give to Optic Halo man just fucking like go try like actually try don't just say you're gonna do it and like pick up a fourth and then just like not play a week from now just fucking Did he put just... in hours welcome to HCS now I'm your host computer and as always I'm joined with default and hypothetical and what you guys just saw was formal Laying into Optic Halo just a little bit. Mm -hmm. yep. And that was pretty shocking to it's see. something they needed to hear. Yeah. I think it's it was... all teams you hear, actually. It's something they needed well, to I, hear. Because a lot of teams work really hard. Yeah, but... I um, It was something I think everybody was thinking, but no one would say. Yeah. Formal just laid it out there. Yeah. So... And he was serious. <clears throat> Yes, no, he was, was real serious. There's no smile or laughing or anything. Or anything. <laughs> it was just weird to see that come out of him. Coming from a guy that hardly ever talks yeah. on his stream, and uh, I don't, I have that's probably the most words I've ever seen him say in, <laughs> yeah. in, in one sitting. So he just kind of laid it out there for optic. I'm like, oh snap! <laughs> watching this, I'm like. But then again, uh, okay, this is what I've been thinking. I've been thinking this, and I don't know if anybody else thinks this. Okay, Optic has been moving towards this, uh, uh, what you say, it's like a reality show type thing with the Optic House, which I think is cool, and I love to, to watch it, but, it, okay, in my opinion, it, all this is like a publicity stunt. It feels like one, I mean, with the whole Optic looking for their fourth, like he's hiding in the stove or something, yeah. they can't mm -hmm. find this guy nowhere. Um, they just keep putting out tweets and videos and then they got, uh, these, this reality show where Hex is yelling at them like they're little kids, like, find a fourth, find a fourth or I'm going to break this team up. <laughs> Go for him. Yeah. And, um, so, I mean, if it is a publicity stunt, it's pure genius because it is like kind of like everybody's just wanting to know who's our fourth. It's going to be such a melodramatic thing when it actually happens if but it's, it's like the build up if it's not a publicity stunt then they're over dramifying it just for like the attention of yeah it. I mean because yeah, I mean, they're supposed to announce it like two days ago or no, today no like a month a, ago yeah <laughs> Uh, they've been delaying this for a long time. It's like, where's Waldo when yeah. it comes to looking for these dudes for? Um, so it is like, uh, it does, even if it, it could be real, a real situation, but they're like, let's take advantage of yeah. this. Yeah. Let's play it out a little bit. Let's get a little drama. You know, if we film you yelling at us, pretending, and then, uh, Maniac, does the clickbait video? Mm -hmm. I'm being dropped from Optic, and it's all clickbait. Flame Sword did a, did a video. Or we thought about dropping Maniac. Yeah. A lot of death threats. Yeah, yeah. Flame yeah. Sword got threatened. <laughs> um, so I mean, it's stirring up a lot of controversy over something so small. I mean, it's good for the. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is drawing a lot of attention to Optic Halo, which is a good thing. I feel like if it is true that they did try to drop Maniac for uh, two other players, I feel like it's going to be in the back of Maniac's head 
all the time now that he was almost dropped because they didn't think he was a good enough player. Yeah, yeah. he's for sure going to try his hardest even now. Like, yeah, it could that. push him to do better. Mm-hmm. A lot better. It could push him to do better or it could put uh, pressure on him to uh, underperform like he, he Overthink is stuff. overthinking like man. Or, yeah, I think it's it's going to always be there now in the team that uh, they were trying to get rid of him at one point. Yeah. I think that does affect you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that also brings up a topic that I wanted to discuss. Um, and it's friendship versus business. And this is a lot. This has a lot to do with Halo, even mm-hmm. though it has nothing to do with the game. This is the, the back end side of things. Mm-hmm. Um, when do you choose friendship over business? And um, I kind of feel like Flame Sword chose friendship with uh, Assault. Because they have been friends for so long. He wasn't going to drop Assault. And I think Maniac is a better player than Assault. The Flame Sword tried to say that he thinks Assault's better than Maniac. So he would rather... I don't know. It's very, very crazy deal. Yeah. Well, a lot of people now, they're, there's a lot of duos in teams now. Yeah. And like $2 million, you, of course, that's going to affect I don't them. think you'll see much duos later on. I yeah. think the yeah, whole of course business now. aspect is going to take over yeah. friendships. Like it's already doing now. Yeah, like, I mean, there was, somebody tweeted, like, this $2 million is breaking up friendships yeah. left and right. Yeah. Um, so, and speaking of breaking up friendships, we're, it's, we're in the middle of hurricane season, as you could see earlier. Uh, we got team changes from just about every team you can name, except yeah. for the, the top three, which yeah. is EG, CLG. Well, CLG actually is on team things. Yeah. So we have team changes from Winter Fox. Well, uh, possibly splitting up, Spartan going other places. We don't know where he's going. Alliance uh, dropping players, CLG dropping and picking up players. Um, so we got a lot of team changes to talk about. Yeah, it's crazy right now. Yeah, um, I think since all this is happening, we always said we wanted drama. I think Halo Five's gonna have a lot of it. It's uh, it's definitely got some drama going on right now. I, could, I can't even keep um, the rivalries in my head right now of, of how many people are like. Well, I mean, we don't even know a lot of what's going on behind the scenes. We just get a little hints of, like, things. Yeah. But. So, let's just talk about Winter Fox for a little bit. There's a lot of rumors circling that squad. Um, rumor of Spartan. Uh, he's rolling around with other teams under a hidden gamer tag, secret gamer tag, Optic Cuppy Cake. Yeah. Well, if, yeah. if you know, Optic's rumor fourth is real... Then how is that gonna work? What do you mean? Like every, he's kind of trolling, saying like optic cuppy cake. I think he made that tag because he scrimmed with optic maybe first before oh, he scrimmed right. with any other team. Okay. I don't know. That's There's what a I lot guess. of players that have gamer tags. Maybe he just wanted to, you know, just troll. Uh-huh. He's just trolling, probably. Yeah, but yeah, he's, he's been scrimming with a lot of teams under that name. And there was a name. It was E.G. Cabbage. And I think that may have been Arcano. Not 100%, but I, don't I think see that's him who going was. to EG. I don't no, see him. no, he wasn't scrimming with EG. Oh, that's okay. just another troll oh, okay. tag. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, they were just, he was running with Optic and everybody else. And so those are just like some rumors with the Winter Fox squad. That team seems to be kind of falling apart. Um, I don't know what they have going on yet. So moving on to Allegiance, uh, they dropped Goofy and Straight Sick. Yeah, I feel like they should have kept Straight Sick. Yeah, he was, I saw him play on Twitch. He's pretty good. I don't yeah. know why they would drop him. From- <laughs> yeah, Straight Sick was a pretty good player. I don't know if Goofy and Straight Sick are like you were talking about earlier, the duo. Yeah, the duos they, they, that they stick together. They could have been a package deal. They could have been, yeah. I mean, and it seems to be happening a lot in Halo recently is the duos. The package deals come in one leaves them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's just like an insurance type of thing. Like they don't get left out because nobody wants to be a third wheel. So if you stick with another player, you might have a better chance of putting together a team when you got two people. Yeah. So um, they dropped Straight Sick and Goofy. And picked up Suspect, Suspector, uh, and Carlos. Uh, I don't, Junior, I, I really don't know. I don't know these players all that much. I need to do some research on them. Um, so, Allegiance, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're looking too strong right now against the top squads. Uh, I haven't really seen their newest team yeah, scrim. I haven't seen them play. So, so they're really good, but unless they know something we don't. Yeah. <laughs> right now, I don't. 
I'm, we, we don't really know these players, so we can't really comment on that. Yeah. Um, CLG, uh, top squad, always has been a top squad. They dropped a cloud, mm-hmm. and they picked up a, a, a Frosty, which is kind of a new player to the scene, but mm-hmm. he ended up being the missing link for that team. Now that team is destroyed. Yeah. And so Ogre does it again. He knows how to get that chemistry. Mm-hmm. But so, will that put them... Will it keep them the same, or will they make them to where they go better? You know what I mean? Because like, even, like you said earlier, Mick one says, don't judge by scrims. Yeah, you can't can't judge by scrims, but you can judge by... Okay, they Good weren't... Idea. Yeah, yeah you can't... Sort of. the, the, the way you can judge by... Is they weren't really winning scrims before they picked up Frosty. Oh, okay. And now they are just slaying left and right. Like they are winning scrims against top teams now. Mm-hmm. So that really did bump up their pa- their slaying power. Um, Frosty's a, a new up and comer, and he is like uh, he could be a future star in Halo. So yeah. because of that, we're gonna make Frosty our player of the week this week. So. You guys give him a shout out and uh, hit him up on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter and uh, let him know that he is the HTS Now Player of the Week. There is a new, uh, I would say, amateur team Mm -hmm. that is uh, making quite some noise called Crowd Pleasers. Uh, So they just, uh, they were, they've been going up against pretty decent squads and doing pretty good in scrims. Mm-hmm. So they've been making some noise, and they there's a rumor of them picking up Cloud from uh, CLG. So if they do pick up Cloud, I think that's going to help them even more. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know why they would make a team change since they were doing so good in the first mm-hmm. place, but I'm, I'm not in control of that I team. Mean, so. Cloud's a good player. Yeah. So, I mean... It don't hurt. Yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt, but, you know, it kind of like, like I was talking about earlier, the chemistry. I, I don't know if that's going to mess up what they had I mean, going on. They so. could be thinking, like, he was on CLG and they were on the top team, so maybe yeah. he can bring something to us to make us do better, yeah. you know, than we already are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so I think crowd pleasers is going to be, I say, like, an un- unexpected team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I mean, like, they'll win more than what... People might think. Yeah. And then um, the last team, we already talked about this team earlier in the show, <clears throat> Optic. They uh, put on their, it was posted on their MLG roster that they were picking up Stellar. Mm-hmm. And um, he is also an up and coming player. And everybody says uh, new game new players mm-hmm. and it's been very true for Halo yeah, 5 I'm surprised yeah. when all these new players joining these big name teams yeah these know. players are getting opportunities of a lifetime right now yeah. so they gotta step it up and perform mm-hmm. I mean you don't wanna uh, get this opportunity and then and, and fail yeah and then get you know booted off the team well they have to be doing something right if they pick them up oh yeah, yeah. I mean if they're they're doing good but it all still comes down to that event that how pressure. they handle? How do they play See, on this, that main stage? And how do they handle that pressure? I think we talked about this before. The pressure, the pressure. of performing at a land in front of a crowd uh, when the money is on the line, yep. choking. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be the amateur co- uh, player that they picked up in hopes of you performing, and then you choke mm-hmm. on a money game that's worth all. I'm, and we're heading into like historic. Okay, record numbers here. Yeah. So you definitely don't want to be the guy to blame when the team loses. <laughs> yeah. But so, all of like that pressure we're talking about, that's why EG's always been on top. They are they handle pressure very yeah, well. This is Tally so Tally keeps them level headed. Yeah. Right? There's been times where they're like they're down and you think, Okay, this might not work for them, but they come back and they end up winning yeah, it's so, the way. Yeah, this that is like can't be any truer yeah. statement. Uh, E.g., they they clutch it every time yeah. they have to. It blew my mind in H two A whenever you thought they were out, yeah. and they clawed back in. <laughs> yeah. You're like, "There's no way they are doing this." They <laughs> yeah. just they keep their level head, mm-hmm. and Tawi keeps like the team, and like it's like it's just insane what they can do, and that's just so hard to get to bet against them whenever they got that. You know, it just. It, they could be so down and out and then just gel together and just 
yeah. roll over people. But that shows the importance of a coach. It is. It's very like, important. You hear him and listen to him, you know, on last season where they begin panicked. Yeah. And Tao even back like, okay, calm down. Mm-hmm. You know, See, and get that's, back on track. But the thing is, um, for the Halo World Championship Series, most of these events, well, I'd say most, like, all of them, but except for, like, one or two, the one, uh, the regionals and the finals, are all online. Yeah. So coaches are not... I'm going to play too much of a role because, the, you know, uh, coach is usually a land thing. So, mm-hmm. I mean, they could still coach them a little bit on, uh, while they're playing online if it's, uh, if they really need to, but coaches are be kind of out of the picture for a while. So, yeah, yeah. but I think, uh, especially if uh, a lot of teams don't have gaming houses. So, yeah. uh, the coach is not going to, they're not all going to be in one house. Like some of the bigger teams, they can all get in one house and, um, and that, and that also brings me to another thing about the Halo World Championship being online. I think that, uh, you know, we complain about there not being LAN events, but in all, honest, in all honesty, it really helps the amateur teams uh, out to be able to participate yeah. when there's not LAN events because they can't afford to tr- travel five people yeah. to an event, to different events like these big uh, teams can with sponsors and yeah. orgs. So this is actually a, a, a great opportunity for amateur teams to show what they have. Yeah. They don't have to pay any money to get in the top 16. Yeah. So I think so I, I, I kind of hated on them for not having events. For that. So I guess in a way, they're doing a good job. Yeah. They're bring, that gives chances, like you said, amateur teams to join and it brings attention to the sport. So mm-hmm. I think it'll work out better than I previously thought. <laughs> yeah. And so what causes... All these teams to have all these team changes, break up all these friendships, and just be completely crazy right now. It's the two million reasons why. Mm-hmm. Two million dollars <laughs> on the line and still growing. We got all the way up until March. This thing could hit, I don't know, three, four. I'm thinking yeah, two and I a half, change, three. I want to change my prediction. Well, it was two, one, five. I think it's three, three, three point five. Maybe. See, I, my previous prediction was three. I'm going to go up to four. You crazy? No, <laughs> no. I think three point five. It's going to go to four. Okay, I don't think it's going to go that high. I think it's going to be between two point five and three. And I and yeah, I'll probably go three to three five. But the HGS rec packs sold like crazy. Exactly. That's what I, mean. I mean, like you were saying that uh, people bought multiple of them. Yeah. yeah, multiple of these things. So you were saying you're, you know, at, right when you bought it, you went to the game lobby and every single and person had, it. had this <laughs> damn HCS emblem. That's $10. And you buy this, you're like, oh, I'm going to be so cool. No. And then you get into a game lobby, you're like, man, everybody's got it. <laughs> it's good though. I was happy to see that. It will be more important later on in the game's life cycle. If, if since they took it away, if they don't bring it back, then later on in the game's life cycle, you will have it, and a lot of people won't because yeah. it was only available for like what two and a half days. Yeah. So later on the life, the, the game's life cycle, it will be a lot more rare. Yeah. So it can be a rare thing to have, but it, it's no longer available. So yeah, I mean, I wanted it because I wanted it, but also like to give to yeah. the HGS. So this also, was, that's what I did. Yeah, too. this was a success. So I guarantee you, three four three is going to put more of these out. Yeah. It can be. Anywhere from like a team thing or something different or a different style of the It's HGS. been all but confirmed that um, team uh, skins will be in the game sooner or later. Yeah. I think what they're waiting on is uh, whoever wins the HWC is definitely gonna getting happen. a team skin yeah, like in the game. And I think that's what's going to happen. And that's going to also generate more money. Yeah. So uh, shout out to 343 for raising all this money. It's insane. And a lot of people have not looked at it this way, but this is the biggest um, prize pool in the history of console esports. And if three, if three for three, you want to use that for marketing, you can go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I've already thought about it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Lots of money, lots of teams, lots of craziness going on. It's really hard to keep up with. Um, as soon as we put out this video, we're going to be behind because news is dropping every day. Yeah. So it's like we, we do these videos once a week. So if, the, if we drop this video and the new, more news comes out and we didn't get to talk about it on this show, we'll talk about it on the next week's show. So don't worry about that. But if you guys have any questions or comments about anything we talked about, 
Uh, what do you guys think about the uh, team changes? Um, who should uh, form teams together? Uh, who's going to win the HWC? How high will the prize pool go? Leave questions or comments about all that stuff on our Twitter at HGS underscore now or on the YouTube channel. Uh, leave a comment under the video. Like the video. Subscribe the channel. And as always, thank you for watching. Oh, well,